welcome to celebrity psychic medium tony green here we grow again with one more show so happy to be here with everybody first and foremost thank you for joining me so grateful that you took this time if you would like to call in the call-in number is 845-277-9131 you can call in and connect with a loved one up above. You can ask a question about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all. Anyone. Okay. Um, if you do call in and you have a question, please remember to hit the one on your phone so that I know you have a question and I can tap your little mic and bring you live on the air. Okay, so really quick, a couple PSAs, and then we're going to do names, and then we're going to do songs, and then I'm going to start taking questions from people who have called in and people on the chat. I want to tell you there is so, so many people here with me. So the first PSA um, please don't get scammed. I know I say this every single week. I know I say it every single show, but I truly mean it. Do not get scammed. Do not. If you do not go to my website or come to my office or directly call me on my phone to schedule a session, it is not me. Okay. It, it is not me. Um, I only have once one site, T O N I G dot I N F O. And my business number is 414 897 2869. Those are the two ways I schedule appointments. I do not schedule them over email. As a matter of fact, if you email me, I tell you to call me. And I, if, if you've had appointments before, we can set something up for an appointment over text, but we will be talking on the phone or you will be meeting me in my office. I would never, ever email a reading to somebody, mostly because I'm dyslexic and I don't know grammar. Yeah, grammar. It would just be a pure embarrassment. <laughs> no, but seriously, because I don't, no, I don't. I don't do that. So please don't get scammed. That's my whole point with that. Just don't get scammed. It's so cute, you guys. One of my little plants, um, I don't even know how this happened, but the little leaves of it are up on the couch when they should be. I don't even know how that happened. Hi, buddy. Did you come to join me? Okay. Now, um, I'm on social media. Today's TikTok was clearing anything in the way of your destiny. My TikTok is at Psychic Tony if you want to join me there. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Everything I do, I try to put it on all of them. I don't always get there, but that's okay. We're going to start with songs. And oh my goodness. Who out there has someone creeping and you don't want to know because this song will not leave my head. I don't want to know if you're creeping, keep it on the low. <laughs> Jesus, don't keep it on the low. Put it in my face so I can make a choice that's best for me. <laughs> I want to know. If you're slipping your slim dicky in something else, I want to know because it's not coming up in me anymore. Go take it someplace else. You found somebody else. Oh, somebody else will let you porky pig them. Good. Stay there. You stay there. I want to know. I do. What woman doesn't want to know? Don't tell me you don't want to know. You do want to know. You do. We are too grown to not know. There's too much at stake at this point to not know. Male, female, girl, boy, woman, man. I don't care. We want to know. We need to know. We don't need all the details. Mm -mm. We just need to know enough to say bye. And whoever took you, they can keep you. 
Mm -hmm. I hope they do a good job so you don't come on back because mm, I, I don't want that back. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Um, the next song, I'm going to obviously do songs first. Uh, Be Bapalooba. Be Bapalooba. Won't you be my baby? Be Bapalooba. I don't mean maybe. Is that is that a song? I think that's a song. Okay. And then uh, we have the song um, that I don't know. I don't want to know song keeps popping in my head and I need it to go away so I can get the rest of the songs. Um, the next song is, it's a really old song. It's Okay, I'm going to go to names because this song is not going away. So I, I'll go to names and I'll come back to songs. The first the first, uh, the first, first name I'm hearing is Mike. Now remember, the name can be your name. It can be your loved one's name. Or they could be giving you the name of somebody that is um, here with you that may not listen to the show. Mike, uh, tell him I love him. Um, Mike, tell him I love him. Okay. The next, uh, the next thing, the next name I'm hearing is Charlene. The next name I'm hearing is M Melissa. And then I'm hearing Madrid. So I don't know. Madrid is a place. So it, it's somebody up on the other side could be saying Madrid as a name, but they could also be saying they were from Madrid or the two of you something about Madrid, the location also. Okay. I'm hearing M Milana, Milana, Melania, Milana. The next name I'm hearing is uh, Jackie and Julie. And then the next name I'm hearing is Robert Winford. I think, is that it? Is that a last name? Winford, it could be. It could be a first name. Um, and remember, if any of these names are also a place, it's okay. However, these names mean for you, okay? Anna Maria, that's where my sister got married, Anna Maria Island in um, Florida. Um, um, Anna Maria, and then um, Mary Beth, and then uh, Joshua, and then um, Lila, and then the the I'm only going to do two more names. So bring Beth and Scott. Those are the last two names. Now I'm going to go back to songs, and I'm going to try to get the songs in. Something in, in the night, something in the night is the other song that keeps trying to come in. And then the next, um, and then the next, uh, song is, uh, let it be in the words of wisdom. I'm probably singing this wrong. Like I do every song, let it be, let it be something words of I think it's words of wisdom, something let it be. That song, okay. And then um, take me in your arms, fill me with your charms. I can't wait. Okay, that's the next song. And again, these songs could be songs that they loved, you loved, you listen to together or they're delivering a message for you. Okay. Okay. Those are the songs. I'm going to stop there with songs because I'm just not, I, I know I'll get more songs as we go through, but I'm just not getting enough of the songs to really push, push through. Okay. Really quick. Here are three of my books. I have a total of seven, maybe eight. Now, um, channeled messages. These two are po poem books. Um, so they're both kind of named the same. 
um, and they they just they're poems that I uh, I have. And what if um, a transformational journey? The link to all of my books is in everything below. Unless you are on watching me on one of the television stations, and then you can go to my web page or you can go to my Amazon author page, which is basically my name. Okay, now 845-277-9131. If you have a question, you can call in. I'll be happy to answer that question or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Somebody just stepped in over here and their name is Ralph and they were thinner when they passed. Ralph. Okay. And then, um, or connect with a loved one. And then if you uh, have a question in the chat, I'm going to try to get to everybody in the chat today and answer their questions. And I'm actually going to start with the chat because there were people asking questions and I didn't answer them right away. Uh, Sal, there's big, big changes coming in for you. Something you're on the cusp, crucipus, crucipus, cusp, cusp, I'm, I'm, I'm combining two words and I apologize for that, Zelda. You're on the edge of something big coming in. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, I'm. It, it's going to lead you to something else and it's going to take off. So I, even though I'm hearing the word financial, I don't want to say financial. Because then people think, oh, I'm going to win the lottery when the CIA stops taking it, we'll win it again. Anyway, isn't it isn't it shocking how the last three over billion dollar jackpots all went to one person, one winner? all in California. That's not odd, is it? Is that one winner? The last three? Is that, is that statistically possible? I, I don't know. Could somebody run the numbers on that for me? What are the chances? Okay, anyway, back to the show. So um, whatever this is, it is going to lead to good finances. I feel like it has to do with the gifts you've been musashing. So keep it going. Uh, Kate B, your song is, Don't Give Up On Us Baby. <laughs> We can still pull through. <laughs> I don't even know if those are the words, Kate. I'm sorry. I hope I hope you like that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a caller. Eight six zero. Eight six zero. What's your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> Hi, Tony. It's Amla. Hey, Amla. Don't give up on us, Amla. <laughs> Oh my God, um, it's going to be one of those shows, folks. If you don't want to laugh, you're just going to think this is, if you're in a bad mood, you're, you're, this song might, this show might upset you. Amla, what's up, girly? What's going on? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I actually have a follow-up question. Um, It's, it's more like, um, I feel uh, like I, you, I talked to you last week or whatever, but I feel like I'm, do you feel like I'm going to meet the person this month? I'm just looking for a light because there's a lot of draining people. And I don't think I, I'm ready. Like I'm done with the, the shenanigans. I'm just ready to meet people who are like-minded. So do you feel like he's coming in October? November. That's my question. Uh, so I'm, I'm hearing November okay. and this is contingent now. Okay. So when I give timelines, folks, it's, Timelines can be contingent. And um, okay. so sometimes when we're supposed to meet someone, um, it can be contingent upon a couple of different things. So let's say, 
I'm just going to give an example. This is not a true example. I'm making this up. Yeah. Let's yeah. say you're te- you, you're dis- you're you could meet somebody in October, but then something really hectic and chaotic is going to come in in October, and then this person would think, "Oh my God, this is too much to handle. I I can't do this." Where in November that whole thing would have slid by, and then you would be in a better place in November. Um, Got it. Okay. So you're designed right now. I see three dates on the calendar. I want you to mark these dates. I'm not going to say these are all going to be big, happy, powerful dates. I'm just going to say these are the dates that are coming out. The 2nd, the 13th. I'm hearing the 15th, but I'm seeing the 18th. The 15th is the only one I heard. The 2nd, the other three, I and you re, re- listen because as soon as things come in, they go out. The 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 other three I I literally saw. So those are dates that are going to be important during the month of November. And what I'm going to say is, this person is coming in in November, but more towards near the end of November. And again, this is potentially now when we. I'm there's a lot of things that fall into place and this could be that this person is going through something chaotic or letting somebody go but it's not only on our side like I've done all the work I'm ready I let go of everything maybe that SOB didn't yet I mean I'm not calling him an SOB but I'm sorry maybe somebody other said the other person didn't like do their work yet you know maybe they they're they're in something they're having difficulty getting out of. And to me, if you're going to meet somebody and they're like just starting a divorce, they're, they're just getting ready to move out. Nobody wants that. Like, like we will, we'll, we'll work with it, but it's better if we don't have to. Right. So there's a lot of things at play here. And there's a lot of things that, come in on your side and the other person's side. And people always think, Got well, it. I'm y- yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you are. However, maybe this person is catching up to you or maybe the timing, maybe maybe it's somebody who's coming home for the holidays and then, you know, you can't meet them if they're not home for the holidays or unless you travel to where they are. Um so there's a lot of variables. So really keep an open mind on it. However, um, I am going to say, I do feel like whomever this person is for you, they are in your geographic area. And I do feel like this person is a very solid person, st- body size and like the way they behave and what they bring to the table. It's all very solid. I do feel like they they might be a little bit self-conscious about how they look. I am going to tell you this is, if you had 2020 vision, this is not somebody you would give a second look to. I, I am going to say that. A lot of people probably don't. A lot of people probably wouldn't or don't, wouldn't or don't give this person a second look. And not because we're superficial, but when we feel that, insecure about our looks we try to blend in kind of even men men get very subconscious self-conscious about their looks also so i'm gonna say whomever this is it's near the end of november and it's near it's is it before things is it might even be after thanksgiving so, but okay. right after Thanksgiving, and I do Got feel it. like okay. this, and I don't know why I'm hearing this, Amla, but I do feel like, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it, it, it's, and I think I said this to you in a private reading once, I think this has something to do with your dad. So for example, okay. for example, no, I don't even want to give examples. I'm gonna let that be yeah, because I don't have yeah. Okay. I don't want yeah. you to be like 
no, she said this, so it can't be. I want to leave it wide open. Um, so when this comes in, no matter how, no matter what, be very open, okay? And let your guard down a little okay. bit. And we are all, here's where, here's our first clearing. Here we go. We are all a little guarded when okay. it comes to love. Otherwise, we would have found that that person would be there. So we are guarded when it comes <laughs> to love. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> that would be even for me, folks. Let's heal, clear, and release <laughs> this. I'm so sorry, everybody. I release through breath and I release through, uh, sometimes people release through coughing and apparently a lot of that <laughs> is um, moving on out. Okay, so um, uh, we are guarded. All that caused and kept us guarded is, uh, and Amla, um, you, you at one time felt very lovable, but you don't feel as lovable anymore. You feel like you have to be perfect to be loved. And the idea of part of the idea of being here is knowing that no matter how we look, where we are, what we're doing, we are still perfect. And I'm right. going to give you right. an example on love. You had a daughter who was in your situation, you would see nothing but perfection in her situation. You would never see this as a handicap. You would see it as perfect. You would still see her as perfect. So we're going to clear, um, we're going to clear that we're going to clear seeing ourselves as okay. imperfect or flawed and somebody else wouldn't want us. And so let's clear that. And, um, and I feel these clearings too, folks, even if I've done the work on myself and it's clearing for you guys, I will, ex <clears throat> I will experience that and I will be clearing for and with you. So please just know that. Okay, Amla, I hope this was helpful for you. I really do. I hope this was very, very helpful for you. Thank you so much, Tony. I felt the energy. I this is exactly what I need. I'm so grateful for you and your show. And I, I have no words. I, I, the energy is going right through me right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I God love bless you. Oh, God bless you too, Amla. And I love that. And that's why I do this. And please come back and re-listen to this part of the show. It's at about the. I'm going to say the maybe start at the 15 minute mark. I don't know where those clearings started. But come back and listen again and again and again, because not only will it keep clearing things out, but it will strengthen it. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you. God I love you, you, sweetie. Have an amazing rest of the day. And I know I'll talk with you soon. Okay. I'm going to go to the chat and answer some questions. Oh, that was a lot. And I love it. Uh, I'm going to go up. Um, I'm going to go down. I just did Sal's question. So anybody below Sal, um, I'm going to, I'm going to start getting in there and answering questions. Share bear, share bear. Um, do you see me feeling more comfortable with my new job responsibilities by holidays? Yes a lot more comfortable, a lot more faith, a lot more, all that's making us nervous. Uh, let's heal, clear, release that. Um, they keep saying, just get out of your own way. You're doing great. Um, get, get out of your own way. So let's clear, we get in our own way. Ooh. You guys. <coughs> And if you'd like to call in and ask a question, connect with a loved one, 845-277-9131. And don't forget to hit the one if you actually want to hear, uh, hear, ask a question. Uh, Share Bear, that one is actually <clears throat> making my eyes water a little bit and my nose run. <laughs> I'm going to go, what are you guys doing to me today? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. 518. <laughs> what's your name? Where are you Hi going? there. Hi there. What's your name? Hi. Hey. My name is Val. How are you? I'm good. How can I help you, love? 
this is kind of a follow up or two. Um, I spoke to you maybe a week ago. I don't know if it was quite maybe. Uh, and I had asked you about a job. And um, I told you that the interview went like phenomenal. And that they told me over the phone during the interview, if you haven't heard from us, call us back within about a week and a half to, because we're hiring for a bunch of the same type of positions. So they had a lot of inner, you know, people to interview. It was basically the same type of position, but for several departments, et cetera. And they said, okay. Well, I reached out. I didn't get an answer. I talked to you in the meantime. You said you saw me getting it. And, um, you know, I reached out and I didn't get an answer. And then I got an answer and I was told I was not selected. Oh, sweetie, and I'm so sorry. I wrote back I wrote back and I said I wasn't selected for the position, but you were hiring for the same type of position, several of them. So obviously there's more than one. I mean it was more professional than that, of course. But you know, and I sent it. So I heard from the woman supervisor I believe you know the higher up it was human resource but I think it was her supervisor who got back to me and said you know here's my number please give me a call so I reached out and they you know we talked she was very nice and they said forgive me if this is out of protocol but and I told her and they said and I felt like I had the job this is my wheelhouse what I applied for and if it's out of protocol for me to ask forgive me but I would like you to maybe ask the interviewers why I did not get this position. And she said, absolutely. She gets asked that all of the time and she would get back to me. And I haven't heard back from her and it's okay. I, I know everybody's busy and whatnot. Um, you know, um, but then I did reach out again and just kind of said, Hey, any word yet? And she got right back to me and said, no, she was still waiting, but she would get back to me. So I would like to know what the, what happened, I guess, in the few days that you said yes and that I felt yes to no. Okay, so what I'm picking up is they weren't done interviewing, and at the time you interviewed, you were a very strong fit, but they weren't done interviewing, and I'm going to say this, <clears throat> and I want you to feel if this is accurate or not, after meeting with you, I feel like they called a previous job or reference and something. None of my references have been checked. A, pre, a previous job or reference. And I'm going to tell you and everybody listening something that most people don't know. There are places that employers can go online and mm -hmm. check your actual record. So no matter what you put down exactly. on the application, they can. So if you leave a company off and you muff your dates because you don't want this specific company being checked, you'll still show you'll still show up with that company and they'll call that company first. Uh, oh, right. And I know that, however, everything on my resume is accurate. Ian. Okay. If I didn't so, want someone reached, I would have said, do not contact. I said contact on everyone, which I was okay with. Okay. So what I'm getting, and I don't know why I'm getting this Val, and I'm, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say what I'm getting. And I don't, something didn't fit. They met with you. They loved, they liked you. They loved you, whatever. Whatever it was, whether it was a check that they personally did on the computer, a credit check, a whatever it was, something didn't fit. And I don't know what it was, but I would do those checks for yourself. I would have a friend. Val, if I were you, this is what I would do. Just so you know what people are saying just so you are comfortable with it. I would have a friend who's in the business world and knows how to do this. I have a lot of friends that own businesses. And I'll say, if I were looking for a position, I'd say, hey, call this company and ask, ask them for a ref, ask them, ask them the typical questions that would be asked just to make sure. 
just to make sure. Um, I am going to tell you whether it's something they found online or something they found wherever it didn't, it didn't fit a timeline. I keep hearing timeline and I don't know why I'm hearing timeline, but I will tell you this when, and I know this sounds hokey and I don't like hearing it myself. So I'm sorry. I have to say it to you. When one position doesn't go through in a company, a different position will come through and it's even better. And maybe that position is just now coming up this week or next week, and it's going to be such a better fit for you. And it's even going to pay you more is what I'm hearing. So if I were you, I would, and I'm not you, you get to do what you want, pay attention to that. And I'm going to say you're going to find this position on a company site. And there's a weird, I don't know if it's a logo, but it looks like a skateboard ramp and a circle on part of their site. Now, if you don't find that, don't worry about it, but I'm just seeing that for some reason. And what I'm going to tell you is if you, when you look at this, you're going to feel very connected to it. And maybe, when you went for this first position, whatever it is, I don't know, but I would really first, I know you started looking already, but second, don't worry about why somebody doesn't want you or a company doesn't want you. And it goes the same, like with exes, we get really caught up in why don't they want me? We just need to move on to the next. And Sometimes, not all the time, the reason a person, place, thing is not right for us is to protect us because that wasn't good enough and something better was coming down the line. Um, I am going to unmute you now. And I'm going to, to say that I hope that you, that that makes sense to you. And I'm going to let you know that I do know within a week Definitely within this month, you're going to interview or you're going to find this position, okay, that is going to be better. And it could just be, and it simply could just be that after they interviewed you, somebody else came in and changed all the dynamics up and it has nothing to do with you. Okay, let me, let me, and I appreciate that, but here's the thing. I've already passed up a couple jobs because they didn't pay as much. They were not as good of a pay. This job paid exactly what I was looking for and a little more was the perfect. Okay, here's the thing. I get it. I get it. You passed. <laughs> she hung up. Who cares? Listen, don't get mad at me because somebody else didn't hire you. At the time, it was a yes. If it became a no, it became a no. Don't get frustrated. And if she would stay on the line, which she didn't, because clearly that's an immature person that can't even listen to the rest of the answer. She wants to state her case. If the company didn't want you, the company didn't want you, whether it was because somebody more qualified came in or not. And if that if there were other jobs that didn't pay as much, you would have refused them anyway. You would have refused them regardless. There's something better out there. Always, there's always something better out there. There's always a better person. There's always a better job. There's always a better fit, a better company, a better boss. Always, how much time are you willing to put into finding it? How much time? And yes, when you called, obviously it was a yes. After that, I can't control what other people do or how it went or who came in that was more qualified for you or a better fit energetically or whatever with that company. When other people are involved, I can tell you for you, I can't tell you for other people when they're involved. 
So I'm sorry that it happened like that. And the fact that you just hung up like that, that tells me a lot about maybe why why it went the way it did. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, 845-277-9131, we are going to go to the next uh, person. Aaron, do you see me dating soon? What is he like? Aaron... Okay, Erin, there's the potential for you to meet somebody in October. The person coming in in October is going to be a breath of fresh air, but I'm going to say this. They may not be the long-term person, okay? They may be somebody who is there for a short time, like a, how they say a summer romance. I feel like this is a fall romance. Um, don't skip this person. This person's going to be really a good person, but it's it's almost like they may be leaving or m moving on or not settled. Um, I dated somebody once who was um, going to be a surgeon and I knew they weren't going to be here long. They were just, you know, getting ready to relocate to the hospital they were going to be at. And I knew I didn't want to go, but it, it was a really good relationship. It was a really happy, good relationship while it lasted. But we both knew that going in and had that option. Um, so this person is going to be like a fall relationship but then in january someone brand new is going to come in you have the potential to meet somebody brand new and that person is going to be a person that is going to be uh have the possibility of being a longer term relationship Okay, so Erin, that is what I have for that. And um, sometimes when people ask, do you see somebody coming in? Yes, it's not always the next person is not always the final person is not always the happy ever after person. If there is a, you know, that for somebody. Um, I'm going to go to Frankie. I'll come back to you, Tanita, because I, I think you want to hear from Rico, and we've already talked to him. I'll come back to you, Tanita. Um, Frankie, Merry Monday, Tony. I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you, Frankie. I did. I hope you did also. Um, uh, okay, Amy May wants to know, what do I get for her today? We'll listen to show after the work. Okay, she's at work. She comes on before the show, and she leaves a message and then listens after. Amy, I'm getting, it's time, um, I'm hearing that song from the Jeffersons, moving on up, okay, and then, so I'm getting, it's time to allow yourself to move forward and be in that space where um, nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up, is the next song I'm getting, so just uh, moving forward, letting go of all from the past, and being in that place where if opportunities come in, you're just taking them regardless. You're not holding on to hold on anymore. You're just moving forward. It's time. And if you do that during the month of December and into January, you will have all new opportunities coming into you for new people, new places, new things, and they will be amazing. This, I don't feel like this is work. I feel like this is more personal. Um, Anton, Anton wants to know, Anton, can you be a little bit more specific? Hi, Ann. Hi, Sal. Again, Kate, uh, Rebecca. Whew, there's a lot of people online today. I love that. Thank you guys so much. Um, and I'm just going to stay away from the phone right now. Here's the thing. Um, and here's why. I, I, If anybody calls in and you want to ask a question, I, I will... We just had a solar eclipse 
this past weekend. We're going to have a lunar eclipse two weeks from that. So it's, I think it's the 14th and the 28th. And things that are not supposed to be in our life are being X'd out even before they get the chance to come in. This can be partners, places, things. Um, if we are not on the right track, we are going to be, it's going to be pulled out. It's just going to be removed from us. And I understand the frustration with people. I just, it really affects my energy and it's just right now easier to take um, YouTube messages. Um, and I get it when you don't get something you were really counting on and you thought it was going to work out, but we always have to stay in that place where it's whatever is the best for us is going to come in. Um, no matter what it is, whatever is the best for us is going to come in. If we don't get it, that just means there's something better. And if we don't believe that, then that's really unfortunate. Okay, um, Anton. Okay, Anton, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and try to find my way back up. Uh, Uh, thank you very well. Anton says, any message about my social life? Uh, how I can improve it? Stay clean. That's the first thing I heard, Anton. Stay clean. Stay very, very clean. And hey, Patrick, um, stay clean. Allow yourself to have a social life that's a little... I don't know why they're using the word cleaner, Anton, but a cleaner social life. Um, mix up your group, your social group, mix it up, meet new people in higher stature, um, more professional people, Anton. They want you to start hanging around or meeting with people that have um, different ideals and business minds. They really want you to start hanging around with business owners and um, people who are climbing ladders, not trying to balance on them. I hope that makes sense to you, Anton. I really do. Uh, thank you so much, Riri. Well, I hope I said that correctly. Hey, Chris, welcome to the show. <clears throat> Uh, can you please see if Jordan will want to have a romantic relationship with me in the future? No, no. Okay, very really well. I feel bad. I wish I would have. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I'm not saying your name correctly because I get my R's and W's mixed up. Very, very, <laughs> very, very. Okay, I'm just going to call you WW. -W. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting that that's a solid no. And if if it does, it will be momentarily, very momentarily. It will be a very short-lived thing. However, don't, don't, don't freak. Um, you are in the perfect space right now to up-level, to take yourself up to the next level for you, for you to build on who you are, what you have and where you want to be. And then somebody new is going to come in. And that person is going to be a very long term, extremely loving relationship. That person is going to be there and help you to be in that really good space of, um, happiness and joy. There won't be as much conflict or misunderstandings or um, conflict, misunderstandings, or just like, you know, how two people can really like each other, but they're not quite on the same page. The two of you will be on the same page. Now, I'm not going to give you a timeline for this. I will say it's going to be after the 28th, which puts us 
into way into next month. And the other thing I'm getting for this is don't worry about how quickly this person is going to come in. Worry about um, taking those steps forward, not, not necessarily just to someone else, but for you into a new, um, like a new cycle or a new, uh, a new way of being for you, a new way of living for you. Um, get to that pay scale you want, get to that wardrobe you want. What they're really saying, okay, WW, because I can't pronounce that just because of my, just because of me, not because of you. What they're really saying is the person you would envision yourself being at your best. Like if I had this job and I made this much, I would dress like this and I would behave like this and I would carry myself like this. These get there and then this person is going to come in. Nobody's going to, I, I've always said this, even when I was very, very young, anything someone gives you, they can take from you. If they give you your confidence when they're gone, that goes with them because it was false confidence. If they're, if they're giving you a lifestyle when they're gone, that lifestyle is gone. So create that person you want to be. And we can create that person we want to be best on our own, right? Because nobody else is influencing us, right? And we are strong in who we are and we get to be who we want to be, so to say. I don't know if that makes sense. And then that person that matches that will come in and it will automatically double everything. So if I had to explain that another way, in the past, when I was younger, much younger, uh, and I'm just going to use this in dating because this is, this is a dating question. Um, when I would be single, I would see myself dressing this way, looking this way, behaving this way, and my business going this way. And when I would be with somebody, all of that would dramatically change. And so I just decided to be single and, and do me <laughs> until I met somebody who like up leveled what I wanted for me. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So that's what they're kind of giving me as an example to you. Never go backwards. Never go back to something unless both people have understood why it is where it is and can move forward in a more powerful and solid way. And that's what they have for you, WW. I hope that makes sense for you. I hope that that feels right for you. Um, but if Jordan comes back, I feel like you will try to give it another chance, but they're saying it will just, it will set you back and it will be even harder. So please, please really consider that. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, uh, thank you, Sal. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to say this. Um, this is a very I'm I'm just going to say say you know there's a lot going on in the world right now and being very delicate with people I I always of course try to be very funny on the show because there is a lot going on in the in the world and I feel like I'm a comedian okay it's okay if you don't feel like I'm a comedian <laughs> but um, I try to be funny. I try to make it lighthearted. And I understand there's a tremendous amount of stress with people who are out of work and everything. And how they're going to maybe react when there's some disappointment. But I, I will say this. I never... I will never get upset with somebody for the way they behave on a phone call because they're reacting from their emotional state for things I can't even see right now. And I get that. There's a lot more than this job going on probably in that person's life. There's probably more than one thing that's on fire and they were just hoping the job would put that out. And that's 
it's it's very sad when that's when when there's so much going on and there is for a lot of us so that's that's where i'm just gonna leave that but thank you so much sal thank you um let's see mo mo hi mo how are you it's been a minute um your grandma jean mo wants to know if there's a message from grandma jean and the message is i love you that's the first thing the second thing is don't I know what she's saying. Don't put the cattle before, um, like, don't put the cart before the cattle. And then, then she's as the cattle. She's showing me a donkey. <laughs> and it, in in America, it would be don't put the heart the heart, horse before the cart. But she's showing me a donkey pulling a small. Uh, thing and don't 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 uh, something your chickens before you don't ask uh, I think what she's trying to say is I uh, don't don't spend before you have or or don't spend it because you have it save some and manage it manage it don't don't I think you understand that statement because she's bringing it through for you. So you would know that that's what she is meaning. So I want, I just want to say that, um, know that that is what she is trying to say and to take your time in making decisions right now, because you don't have all the information. There's more information coming through. Okay. Uh, all righty. Keisha, I'm thinking about leaving Florida for Texas. I met James. <clears throat> Is this the right choice? And any message from my loved one, who's my guardian angel? Okay, Keisha, I'm going to ask you to... Um, Uh, Keisha says her name is Linda. Okay, so whether it's Keisha or Linda, I'm going to ask you to please put. Um, there's a. I'm going to answer one of these. I'm thinking about leaving Florida for Texas. Actually, I'm just going to go through and give you yeses and nos. Okay, I'm thinking about leaving Florida for Texas. Don't. Um, I met James. Is this the right choice? <clears throat> I think if it is, you need to give it a little bit more time. And and this is your loved one saying this and practice. I don't know what this means. Civility. I don't think. I think the message that I'm getting for you is you need to take your time. Don't make this move yet. You'll regret it in a month of being there. I think you need to, you know what I'm really hearing about this person? Make sure you have his full real name. Make sure you have his real name, the full, whole, real name, and do a really good um, check on background check on this person. That's what I'm hearing. Um, I feel like you need to run a court check. Like here it's called CCAP, like a circuit court check. And I feel like you're going to find out. And I think you need to check some registries on this person. I just get it. I just get really check this person out. I don't think they are who they're saying they are. I think you really need to do some serious digging into who this person is. And they've made it really easy 
take the phone number, do a reverse lookup. There are plenty of places online that you can get information to reverse check someone, to check who they really are. And you can put their picture into Google Images. There's a Google image spot and it will show any other pictures of them with any other people. Go to Are We Dating the Same Man in Texas on Facebook. Facebook has this amazing group called Are We Dating the Same Guy? And you can put their picture in and say, listen, this guy is here. Who Does anybody claim him? Any tea, any flags? And I think you're going to find out some things. And in that group, in the Are We Dating the Same Guy, they give you so much information about how to do background checks, phone lookups, um, circuit court checks, all of it, how to look them up on every social media, everything. And I think that's really important. I think you really need to do that. I'm just, when I... When I tap into that guy's energy, I feel confused. I feel, um, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It's like not, not a good feeling. So I would definitely really not jump. I would take your time and do all your homework on that. Okay, sweetie, please. Um so I, I just I just am going to say that to you. Okay, everybody, um, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Please join me if you can. I, if I did not get your question today or I did not answer your call today, I do apologize. Please forgive me. Um, I am a very energetic person, so that will uh, uh, obviously sometimes things are... Um, beyond our control. So um, Wednesday at 7 p.m., please uh, come back and join me. I will be happy to answer any questions you have or to, uh, I can't even think, oh my, after tapping into that guy's energy, you know what that is. I know exactly what that is. Uh, it was her name. What was her name? Um, listen, I know exactly what that is. I forget your name. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm looking for your name. I can't find it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Linda. I think it's Linda. Ke Keisha, whatever your name is. Listen, I know what that energy is. I know. T stay far, far away from it. There was someone I knew who was a narcissist, and that's the... Oh, do you guys see that light flashing? Oh, that is exactly the energy they have you in. That, like, I can't quite put my thing... I can't prove he's wrong, but I can't prove he's right. I can't... Like, this constant state of confusion and illusion and not being able... And and they they just... It's so manipulative and you don't even know it's happening. And then there it is. Please, 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 please take your time. Back away. Um, do every check you can on this guy, especially are we dating the same guy? Please. 90 seconds. Anyone who has been in a relationship with that type of personality Please get on and tell this girl, this woman. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't don't even like oh well maybe no 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 no. It is the most destructive thing to your soul and your spirit that you will ever experience. So please consider that. Okay, I'm so happy that came in. Okay. Um, you guys, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Please join me then. Thank you so much. And remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life.